so what if string theory is wrong? Look, I'm not a string theorist. In fact, I don't even think string theory is right. But what is pretty undeniable is that string theory seems to be getting at something fundamental about how quantum gravity works, because, well, it is a consistent theory of quantum gravity, just maybe not for our universe. In that light, we should be using string theory as a sort of proxy. Since we're so in the dark about quantum gravity for our universe, at least we can use string theory as a guide for the kinds of things that work well, the kinds of things that don't, the kinds of things that are possible, and the kinds of things that are impossible. And in fact, this is exactly the kind of thing that theoretical physicists do all the time. If you're having a hard time understanding XYZ real-world complicated thing, then maybe you can get some insight by considering a slightly different, perhaps simpler thing. In that sense, string theory has been immensely successful as a lighthouse in the foggy sea of quantum gravity. Perhaps the first example of this kind is the use of string theory to make sense of the entropy of black holes. In the 70s, Bekenstein conjectured and Hawking proved that the entropy of a black hole is, in natural units of course, the surface area of the black hole divided by 4, a result that follows from the laws of thermodynamics and quantum field theory in curved spacetime, both of which are quite well understood. And yet, to make sense of this result requires a statistical description of the different ways a black hole can be. In technical terms, one would need a way to count the number of microstates the black hole has. And wouldn't you know it, the first microscopic calculation of a black hole's entropy was performed using string theory by Strominger and Vaha in 1995. What this implies is that the result obtained by Hawking in the 70s is fundamentally linked to some feature of quantum gravity, even if string theory isn't the right one for our universe. And so we should use the ability to derive this result as a litmus test for candidate theories of quantum gravity. And we've done so. One of the reasons loop quantum gravity theorists have a slight inferiority complex is because it's not clear that their pet theory is capable of reproducing the Bekenstein Hawking entropy. And if that's not enough to sell you, consider the holographic principle, which has its origins in the black hole thermodynamics we just talked about. The idea of holography is that a theory of quantum gravity can be equally well described by a non gravitating quantum field theory in a universe with fewer dimensions. The prime example of this notion is the ADS CFT correspondence, first proposed in 95 by Multisena. And again, the quantum gravity theory used in this correspondence is string theory. And this isn't all super theoretical stuff. This correspondence has led to valuable insight into systems as far removed from quantum gravity as high temperature superconductors. Because these superconductors are described by strongly coupled physics, one can use the ADS CFT correspondence and do calculations on the ADS side to learn about the behavior of these superconductors. And it works. Now this doesn't say that string theory is therefore experimentally verified. Rather, it's just using string theory as a computational tool. But it does say something about holography being a fundamental property of something. And that's good information, even if string theory isn't the right theory. requires a statistical description. Some real world. Perhaps the first example of this kind, no, string theory to make sense of the entry kind is the known.